Hey everybody, it's Jenny, aka Coop Dizzle, and welcome to the Coop. <laughs> I'm wearing a wig today and just felt like playing around. This is a Godiva wig, something like that. They're really expensive. I would like to get one that's longer, but not from that company because it's this was like $200 and I got it the first year I was diagnosed. <sighs> but I wear a wig every once in a while just because my son thinks they're fun. So, Kaden, this video is for you and Devin. Anyway, um, I really want to talk to my boys this time about the weight of your words and how important they are and sometimes you don't realize how what you're saying can be taken either good or bad. And so, I want to start off this video by saying that I woke up this morning to the most amazing comment. I think you can find it on my Death with Dignity video. Um, I had someone write me and tell me that they um, were, they did a word search for death. And one of my videos popped up, it was my Death with Dignity video and they watched it and the reason they searched death was because they were thinking about committing suicide and that watching my video helped them realize that they didn't want to kill themselves that they were taking their health for granted and that his son needed him and he started it off by saying it probably wouldn't mean much that meant so much to me you have no idea the fact that you weren't there because of breast cancer you weren't there because of death with dignity the fact that you were thinking about ending your life and somehow in a small way what I said changed your mind if that's not an example of your words having weight to them I don't know what is I'm so glad that you found my video and I'm so glad that you found my channel and I am honored that I helped in any way keep you here for your son. Um, I could die tomorrow and be okay knowing that I helped someone decide to live instead of die. That means more to me than you'll ever know. So I'm glad you're here. And I never know what to type, so I'm just giving you a shout out in this video because I don't think what I had to type did any justice as to what I was feeling. So, um, so boys, that's a great example of your, your words have weight. Something that you say to someone else, if someone else overheard you saying something, they could take it one way or take it another. So you really have to be careful with what you say to people. Um, because people interpret things differently um, and they do have a lot of weight if you make fun of somebody in school you cannot take that back you can say that you're sorry but it doesn't fix what you said you could tell someone for example when I was in fifth grade um, I had a lot of really bad acne I had really bad acne and pimples everywhere and my fifth grade teacher called me pizza face in front of the whole class. I was absolutely humiliated. I am 34 years old and what he called me on that day is still with me. And who knows why he did that? Just an insensitive jerk. Um, but if you make fun of someone be aware that they could remember what you say that could change their life in such a way where they end up feeling suicidal because of something you said or something that you did and they'll carry that with them for the rest of their lives they may not remember your name but they'll remember that there was a kid that said such and such so please be careful with what you say to people even if it's online there's so much online bullying and it's easy to say something rude um, behind a keyboard and feel like there's no repercussions but you have to live with that 
you have to live knowing that you said something just rude and uncalled for and you may not think that it has weight to it but it does I made a comment on a PewDiePie video which I never I try really hard not to make comments on really big youtubers channels because there is so many rude people out there behind keyboards who just say whatever flies through their head all I said was he was talking about the demonetization I had a video demonetized and it was an oxaloplatin video it was my chemotherapy for oxaloplatin and all it was was me sitting here talking about my side effects and I just mentioned that and I said it was just a video of me talking about side effects of the chemo that I was on I put it in for review and the video is back to be monetized and some guy said well, I'm glad your video got fixed but I seriously doubt your channel's worth clicking on and I didn't say anything because douchebag alert but oh man people were chiming in saying that he was rude and blah 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 and he deleted his comment and apologized but to say something like that what if I were a seven year old what if I was Elijah and someone said that to me I really hope that Elijah doesn't get too many messages like that and that he doesn't I'm sure Melody and Ronnie do not let him read comments except for the really nice ones because there are really nice people out there and those people are the people you should be listening to boys I'm not saying don't take criticism from people there's a difference between criticism constructive criticism and a bully. I mean, there's a certain way to fix something like if if you have bad breath, if you have body odor, there's a good example. And I hope Thomas does not mind me using this story. Um, back in high school, Thomas, um, I think he may have just skipped deodorant that day, but my ex-boyfriend slash ex-husband at the time just like in front of everybody just said oh my god Thomas you stink so bad go put on deodorant and I was like whoa like yes tell him that he stinks but don't yell it in front of everybody like pull him aside and say hey man I got some deodorant in the bathroom do you want to use some You're kind of stinky choose your words wisely and choose how you say it you're not going to be perfect. I don't expect you to be perfect, but try to be kind because you never know what kind of day someone is having. And yeah, just be nice. You don't have to go out of your way to be nice to people, but you don't have to go out of your way to be ugly to people either. And the old saying is true. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all because you could say the wrong thing and you could drive someone to the point of suicide, especially if it's the same person over and over again. I mean, you just you just do so much damage and you can make someone stay completely. I worked at Stripes for three years and um, for those of you who may not know, it's a convenience store. I know it's here, mainly in Texas. Sorry, I'm moving around. My back is killing me. Um, and every time someone walked through the door, I'd be like, I'd say something like, sorry, we're closed. That's just the kind of person I am, y'all know. And um, I had quite a few regulars because we worked behind a call center. I'd see the same people almost every day. Well, there was this one woman, she kept coming in, she kept coming in. And one day she came in, she just looked kind of sad. And I was like, sorry, we're closed. You have to come back later. And she just looked at me and I smiled. I said, ah, you know, I'm just kidding. And she just started crying. And I was like, oh my goodness, what happened? What did I do? What did I say? And she's like, my friend died last night in a car wreck and I haven't smiled in 24 hours. And you making that joke when I walked through the door, I smiled. She's like, I didn't know what to do. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me hug you. So I just went out from behind the counter and hugged her. You just never know. You could say something really nice and they could be having the worst day ever. You just make a joke. That's why I tell you boys, if you see someone without a smile, give them yours because you never know what someone is going through it just takes a second to make or break someone's day so my lesson to the boys maybe to you maybe you're having a horrible day 
or maybe you're having a great day and this is just what you needed to hear I hope you're having a great day but to my boys be nice <laughs> and if you're gonna be mean either do it in a nice way think about what you're gonna say before you say it and put yourself in another person's shoes like if you were going through that what would you want them to say you just never know and smile life is wonderful life can suck so bad sometimes but it could be really great and it could be really beautiful and it is worth living even if you're stuck in the middle of darkness there's always something to hold on to whether it's your kid for me when I was suicidal uh, my it was my mom because I knew that if I killed myself that she would kill herself and I couldn't be responsible for that and I would call her at like 3 o'clock in the morning and beg her not to love me be like please just stop loving me so I can kill myself and she would talk me out of it and she'd be like no I'm not ever gonna stop loving you and um so yeah you never know where someone's at and you can really make an impact and you can make an impact without realizing it so I love you boys I hope that this video may have come at just the right time I know we're putting my videos on another website too um, but anyway I hope this video helps someone other than my boys um, and side note, I am not a daily vlogger, so I do not post videos every day. I don't post videos every week. I may not post videos for a whole month. So please don't ask me to post videos that puts pressure on me and it kind of makes me not want to do videos when people are like, I haven't seen a video from you in a week. And I'm like, dude, it's been a week. If you're really concerned, we do have a video in the waiting. So if something were to happen, you'll know. And also, the links are down below to uh, my Facebook page. I post almost every day, so if you're really worried about me, feel free to check me out on Facebook. It's under Coop Dizzle. Um, and just know that if something happens, I do have a goodbye video. I think I said that in the last video, so um, please don't pressure me to make videos. I, I, I'm one of those people I don't like authority and uh, I rebel and I'll go like a whole year without busting <laughs> anyway I love you guys I love you boys I hope that you're having a good day I hope you're having a good weekend I hope your next week is really great and to Devin and Kaden I love you so very much and I hope this video teaches you something I'm sure your dad has already told you all of this stuff a million times but maybe there's a few stories in there that you've never heard about me and you enjoy them I love you check your boobs check your balls when life gets really overwhelming smile and remember this too shall pass bye guys